name is Mashaba and I'm gonna be showing you how I got this simple ass, basic ass, matte look. I don't know, I'm gonna just call it a classic look because I mean, that's just a nice word for basic. If you wanna know how to get this look, then keep on watching. Also, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm just a really bored 17 year old who has nothing better to do with her life but loves makeup. So yeah, if you wanna watch that, then just keep watching my channel. Thank you! Well first I'm gonna use the Nivea Men Shave Balm and when I first got this, my mom was scared as fuck. Like, she thought I was on steroids, taking some type of drugs, because she's like, why are you trying to shave your face, huh? Honestly, this is way better than whatever its original purpose is. This is really, really good as a primer. Wait, wait I'm gonna use this bitch-ass mirror. It kind of looks like cum, right? So I'm kind of I'm kinda gonna use, like, swiping motion, so it evenly distributes on the face. It's not really like a pore feeling primer, but it does minimize it a bit so you don't have to push it into your skin. So now I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. My shade is in 105. And this is actually a really good foundation. See, so yeah, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my fourth finger because that's usually the most delicate finger and you don't want to be like abrasive towards your face. You want to be looking like an 80 year old lady by the time you're like 20. I'm gonna swipe it on my cheeks like this. So I'm kind of doing like a swiping motion. So if you're gonna be at art class, you're not gonna rub it into your face like it's lotion. It's gonna be really streaky. And I actually like hands better because it looks more natural than if you're gonna use a beauty blender. Because like a beauty blender can give more of an airbrush effect, but I know a lot of people like that. But I like hands better because it looks more like it's melted into your skin. Like the warmth of your hand just really sinks into your skin. So for this look, like this foundation, it's more of a medium coverage, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Unless you wanna go crazy, like girl be my guest. You can use fucking like Kat Von D tattoo foundation, like girl do whatever your heart desires. Also, you wanna kind of blend it into your hairline, not really, but just make sure it doesn't look like it's a gap between that, cause like, yeah, that's not gonna look cute. People actually know that you use a shit ton of foundation kind of want to like pretend that your skin actually looks this good so you feel like more like yourself that made no sense but whatever so next i'm gonna be using my maybelline fit me concealer and i fucking love this stuff it's not the most full coverage concealer like it's not gonna be a tart shape tape or tattoo locky concealer or whatnot but it does the job. So I don't really like to directly use a wand on my face cause that's kind of dirty and I don't know how many years I'm gonna be using this cause I don't know, I wear makeup every day. So I like to put it on my finger, again, the fourth finger cause that's your MVP right there. Kind of tilting my head down so I know where my dark circles are at so I can locate them. Unless you really have panda eyes and you don't have trouble locating them, then it's kind of good in this case. It's the only time they really help you in life. So yeah. I'm gonna put it right where I see, you know when you have like dark circles, you can literally see like a curve forming. So I'm gonna focus more on that, on that curve right there, technically like the round part. I'm also gonna put this on my eyelids cause I'm technically gonna use it as an eye primer. So yeah, so right now I'm not adding crazy coverage cause after that I'm gonna like set it with pigmented powders and stuff like that. And I don't want my face to look too cakey and too ratchet. So next, I'm going to be concealing the other eye, the same process. So I'm going to take my fourth finger, dab it a bit, and then use a swiping motion to kind of blend it out. And use the same motion repeatedly so that way it doesn't look streaky, like you won't be going back and forth. Like this ain't no lotion, this is fucking concealer. So yeah, bring it up to the eyelids. Also, like if you don't even need it to prime your eyelids, like you just have, oh my god, I got it on my nose. If you don't even need it to prime your eyelids, it's just a great way to cover up veins or if you have like oily ass eyelids or dark ass eyelids and you feel really healthy. Yeah, I'm gonna go into my Ziploc bag and get my setting powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the Then I'm gonna toss that Ziploc bag away because I'm wretched. After that, I'm gonna set my eyelid. I'm gonna take it on my e.l.f. concealer brush. And then I'm gonna kind of pat it out so that way it doesn't look too cakey because no one wants a cakey under eye. So I'm gonna use this to set my eyelids, to set that concealer. Because whenever you put on concealer, you wanna set that shit immediately or else you're gonna be looking like a grandma in five seconds. Now I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the famous beautiful palette that everyone loves. Uh, I, I broke it, I dropped it by accident because I was doing my mom's makeup. 
it went through World War III down there. Like, I literally lost more than half the pan because it just broke and it dropped on the floor. Like, I couldn't even save it. Rubbing alcohol, like, it was just gone. Like, poof, like, bye, bitch. I'm gonna take my Sonia Cashew crease brush and I'm gonna dip into milk chocolate and some my sweet and put that across my crease. I can already feel my acne forming from this foundation. My skin is shit. I'm just gonna take that, put it right on the crease. It's not easy to fuck it up. Like, it's a pretty simple look. So literally, you're gonna sweep it in like windshield wiper motion. And then like, I like to hold my hand at the end of the brush because it really just makes it look more blown out and smoky. After that, I'm gonna take salted caramel and semi-sweet towards the outer V. Okay, so I don't wanna go too crazy. Like, I would go with triple fudge, which is a black shade, but I don't want it to look like I have a black eye right away. So I'm just gonna build up kind of like from lightest to darkest and then go ham. You get what I'm saying? I just like, I literally, I literally make no sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna continue fanning it out. Low key, kind of like a V motion. So that way it looks more defined, but still kind of messy because we're still using the crease brush. I'm not using like any tape on the eye right now. And then I'm gonna dip into triple fudge, but not like dip it and like go ham with it. But I'm gonna tap it a bit on my brush. The palette is so fucked up. It just makes me feel like such a bad mother just looking at it. So I'm gonna put this on the outer V but slightly, like you wanna go in like dotty motions. Not too crazy. I'm gonna swirl a little bit into triple fudge and then I'm gonna kinda like tap out the excess because I really don't wanna go too crazy with this look. And then I'm gonna go back into semi-sweet and hazelnut and again add on to the dimension and stuff like that. And then after that, literally just blend it out. Like, this is a pretty simple look. Like, I think a beginner could do this. I mean, I'm an amateur, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. Just keep blending, just keep blending. Oh my god, imagine if I got copyrighted for that. That'd be really sad. Like, fuck you, YouTube. So after that, I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and then I'm gonna dip into the shade White Chocolate. I'm gonna put that on the inner third of my eye to kind of give it like that white pop. Like the reason why I kept it blank here so that way you can brighten the eye with the white. Do you hear that right now? There is literally a motorcycle passing by. This is just not a good timing. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked 3 brush. Like it's literally in the Naked 3 palette. Like in all of the Naked palettes, you can get it. If not, just use any flat shader brush. Like any flat shader brush will do. If you do have the Naked 3 palette, you should dip into this shade called Strange because that's a really, really pigmented white match. But I'm too lazy to reach into it. Like I have to go all the way to my room and get it. So I'm gonna just stick to white chocolate. Then I'm gonna take the blank end of it. No, it's not blank. Just some powder kick up, but basically not much product into it. And then blend more and more and more. And then I'm gonna dip into the flat shader side again and I'm gonna pick up the shade Amaretto. I love this shade, it's like maroon and kind of like purple and I put it on the, kind of like the outer lower third of my eye and I'm literally just gonna pack it on. I'm not really gonna blend it, but kind of like swipe it there. Probably gonna get an eye infection because I did not clean this brush for a long ass time. You know what, it's worth it, it's makeup. I'd get an eye infection for makeup. For this palette, hell yeah. And then I'm gonna go a bit into Black Forest Truffle because it's like a darker purpley shade and I just love that too. Does that ever happen to you? Like you put on eyeshadow and it literally goes inside your eyeball and you can just feel the powder rolling onto like the whites of your eye. That is such a weird feeling. I'm gonna go into my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I can't believe it costs like only three to five dollars. Like there has to be a gimmick here. Like they probably use illegal substances in that because it is so good. But I'm gonna be using it as an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight. Yes, I'm gonna put an inner corner. Kind of brow bone highlight. This is really the only shimmery part about this look, if anything. Maybe you could drag it a little bit in the inner thor third, th third. I don't know how to talk because it will brighten it up. So I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And this is pretty hard to use. Like, I really don't recommend it if you're not good at eyeliner. I mean, even then, I'm not good at eyeliner either. And I'm actually kind of scared to do this. But I can't find my other eyeliners. And I'm just too lazy right now. Wish me luck, guys. So the applicator, the brush is really flimsy. 
and like it gets a lot of like clumps on it so it's kind of like So right now I'm gonna tight line my eyes. This is the NYX Hejoli. I don't know, it's too fancy for me. Right now I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and this is so good that I'm not even gonna use an eyelash curler because this doesn't even need one. So I like to start from the root of the eyelash and then fan out. I'm gonna add like two to three layers and then I'll be back. I mean, y'all know how to do mascara. It's like brushing your hair, except it's on your eyelids. So yeah, after putting on like 10 layers of mascara, now I'm gonna be doing eyebrows. So I'm taking the spoolie on the end of the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I always call it Micro Brow Is, cause you know, we all know, it's a dupe with Anastasia. So yeah, I'm gonna brush my non-existent eyebrows upwards. So kind of looks like I have one eyebrow hair growing. And then I'm gonna take this felt tip side and I'm gonna outline what I wanna do. So kind of like a coloring book and then I'm gonna fill out the rest of Bye dad. So I did my eye, my other eyebrow and my other eye off camera cause like you already saw the first one. We don't need to be repetitive here. So I loaded up my Wet n Wild, I think it's flat top brush. After that, I loaded up with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm gonna powder my face. So I like to kind of like dab it on because if you're gonna like sweep it onto your face, it's gonna like transfer the foundation. It's gonna ruin a lot of your application. So I like to like tap it on there, dab it on, whatever you call it. So yeah, unless you're baking though, you better wipe that shit away because you're gonna look like a monster if you have the glue. So yeah, I'm really gonna emphasize it on my T-zone because no one wanna see oil soup on your face. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm gonna use it on like the temples of my temples. This part, whatever that part is called, hairline, whatever you call it, man. And I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. I'm gonna put it over here like on my forehead because I have a fat ass forehead and I don't wanna be looking like E.T. up. So the, after that, I'm gonna load up the same colors on my e.l.f. blending brush. I'm gonna make kind of like a fish face. I'm gonna bring it up. You wanna blend up, because if you blend down, you can kind of look like a five o'clock shadow. Unless you wanna do that, I won't judge. I'm gonna use my Milani Baked Blush in, can you guess, Gluminoso. Oh my God, everyone uses it. Yeah, I'm just gonna load it up a little bit on my brush, but not too much, because next I wanna go in with like a bold red lip, and I don't wanna be looking like a clown or like a brown auntie. Like, I'm sorry, Chachi, but that's not cute. I'm gonna smile because like I want to go on the apples in my cheeks. Blend it outwards. But yeah, the slightest amount, not too crazy. Next, I'm gonna use the Essence highlight again, but I'm gonna load it up on my fourth finger because I mean you don't really need a brush. Highlight's pretty simple, but yeah. I'm on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh yes. I forgot to color correct under my eyes with the Kat Von D palette, so this is kind of out of place. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first two like lightest shades on the top row of the Kat Von D palette, I'm gonna load it up under, just dab it under my eye, just so I can brighten the under eye. I'm such an idiot, I'm doing this after highlight. Oh god. Don't be a dumbass like me, please. Highlight your under eye before you get to the eyes because that was my bad. Next, I'm gonna be using the Buxom lipstick in the color Ruby Tempest. So I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. This shit, this is the shit. So after that, I'm gonna take my setting spray away from my face because you don't want a hose to be on your face and then your foundation melting. That's just not cute. I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Servant, fan me, 